Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Hungry Tourist, where I give you a virtual tour of the places I go. Today we are going on a walking tour to the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, and the Charging Bull. I suggest giving yourself an entire morning or afternoon, roughly three hours, to get through your Statue of Liberty journey. One of the best things about New York is its walkability. You can get to and from so many places, so enjoy your stroll to the ferry and maybe pick up a bagel or coffee on your way there. We purchased our tickets to the Statue of Liberty pedestal tour the night before on the statuecruise.com website and caught the ferry from Battery Park, New York. You can also catch the ferry from Liberty State Park, New Jersey. We were lucky that these tickets were still available for us, so for your trip, I advise you to purchase far in advance, especially in the summer. A single adult ticket was $24 and includes pedestal access to the Statue of Liberty, ferry service to and from the landmark, access to both Ellis Island and Museum and the Statue of Liberty Museum and an audio guide of the grounds. The ferry ride was cold, but we wanted to get the most out of the trip, so we headed to the top for the best views of New York and New Jersey. If you are going in the winter, be sure to bundle up as you will be close to the water the entire time and you will experience strong winds. Before buying your tickets, you should know that Statute City Cruises is the only ferry service authorized by the National Park Service to sell tickets for and provide transportation to Liberty and Ellis Island. The first free ferry departs from the mainland at 9.30 a.m. and the last ferry departs from the mainland at 3.30 p.m. Closing ferry departs from Ellis Island at 5.15 p.m. We caught our fare around 10.30, spent the day there, and had enough time to catch a late lunch. The ferry ride is a quick 15 minutes from Battery Park to Liberty Island. You will circle around Lady Liberty, so if you are filming, be sure to get all your good footage then. When you arrive at Liberty Island, go ahead and grab a radio at the front entrance to start your walking tour. This is only if your ticket includes that feature. For general admission, you are free to walk the grounds of the island for as long as the park is open. Take pictures and get close to the Statue of Liberty. It's 100th anniversary. Archaeologists excavated several areas of the island and discovered a mass of discarded uh, yeah, oyster shells. My name is Bonnie Hartley. Just listen for the narrator to give you specific instructions. Starting here, Each ticket to the pedestal includes ferry service to and from the landmark, access to both the Ellis Island Museum and the Statue of Liberty Museum, and an audio guide for the grounds. You also need to be prepared to go through an airport style bag check before the ferry and at the entrance of the Statue of Liberty Museum. Big bags may need to be checked into lockers. The Statue of Liberty Museum was small but informative, and I enjoy learning about the complicated history of the construction of the pedestal before seeing it for myself. Did you know that the Statue of Liberty was a gift from France that took nine years to build? And after it was fully constructed in France, it was then taken apart and shipped to America in different pieces? Okay, maybe you knew that, but I bet you didn't know that it took over three years for New Yorkers to gather funds and build the pedestal. The final construction was completed in 1886. Lady Liberty still stands tall to this day and is a symbol of freedom.
Congratulations, you made it to the pedestal entrance. Now, have you always wondered what it's like walking inside a living piece of history? Yes, me too. The anticipation was too much for me to deal with, but alas, it was just like any stairwell in most apartment buildings. But the historical significance of where I was made me overwhelmed with excitement. Bring your walking shoes because to get to the top of the pedestal, you will need to climb 215 stairs or take the elevator. When you reach the top, you can walk outside and see a beautiful view of the New York skyline. Once you are done on the stairs, you may open the door to a narrow walkway along the top of the pedestal. This area is often crowded but totally worth seeing. This is where you can get one of the best views of New York. After you're done at the Statue of Liberty, head back on the ferry to go to Ellis Island. Ellis Island. The same ferry that takes you to Liberty Island will also take you to Ellis Island. I honestly wish we had spent more time at the National Immigrant Museum. There is enough history here for a whole day. Realistically, maybe three hours, but we did not stay as long as planned because we were feeling tired and needed to get to eat. I will definitely be back though. It's chocked full of history and information. The National Immigrant Museum is in the form of processing station in Ellis Island. They have great modern exhibits which will take you through the timeline of immigration throughout the United States as well as personal accounts from immigrants. Ellis Island was actually one of my favorite things to do in New York. I've always been fascinated by the immigration process and the stories of the brave men and women who came here. After we were done at Ellis Island, we boarded our last ferry of the day and headed back to Battery Park. On our way to Wall Street, we checked out the World War II Memorial in Battery Park. Wall Street. Since you are in the financial district, feel free to walk down Wall Street and check out the stock exchange. It's an international business hub that's significant now and rich with U.S. history. The Charging Bull. Our last stop on this tour is the Charging Bull. This would be a perfect time for you to see this iconic statue because it's just a short walk from Battery Park to Wall Street. It's a very popular tourist spot, so be prepared to wait in line if you want to take a picture with the bull. I did not pose with the bull, but got some nice footage on my camera. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more New York City videos next week. Come join!